good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be in the world. I would like to thank you for stopping by Healing Inner Child Wound Conversations with Z. My name is Rita or Zuri BB as my friends know me. I'm here. I haven't done an inner child reading in a while. I just came to my mind that I hadn't done one. The last time I pulled these cards out was when I went live. And then the creepy people came and I was like, no, we ain't doing that no more. I understand why people don't do the readings anymore. Um, it was crazy. Um, I'm not saying I'll never do a reading, personal readings. But I won't do it like that. Nope, nope, nope. Not happening. Um, if you come to this message, I've already prayed over the cards. And I actually have already shuffled them. But just for purposes of being on camera, I'm shuffling them again. Um, so that nobody says I'm playing with the cards and doing all kinds of foolishness. This is the daily... What is that deck? This deck called? Because I have the book. Daily Crystals, Crystal Inspiration. So, I'm going to... I don't know if I'm going to use this same setup every time. But there will be something along the day. Like, I have a, another deck I can pull out also. Um, I may pull it out at the end. Depends on how long this one goes. Um, but... There's going to be some type of something a little different. I'm trying trying something different. We're going to see how it works out. Um, but anyway, be kind to yourself. And I'm saying that specifically for today. Today is the 6th, the day after the foolishness. Um, I didn't even watch TV you know, to be honest, I did cast a vote. But it didn't matter. I already knew what was going to happen. And, you know, I should have listened to my first instinct. But I didn't. You know, you got to be careful with these things. Because what they do, I'm only going to briefly talk about this and then we're going to cut it out. You know, when you have all that energy... Some of those jokers know how to tap into it and manipulate it. And that's all I got to say. Um, but let's see what the um, Daily Crystal message is for us today. For the collective. What does the collective need to know? I only want one. There it is. <laughs> Perfect card. Let it go. What happened, it is what it is. I had to tell someone, it's very bright in here today, I'm sorry. Um, but I had to tell somebody to let it go. Let's see if, Smoky Quartz. Um, let's see if this has anything to do with this, but that's the song I hear in my head, let it go. I don't even know the whole words. If I did, I would sing it. Um, we're going to be in this energy. I'm going to read it. The past is the past. Leave it there. Rather than looking back and letting history define you, make a conscious effort to keep your eyes forward and live your fullest life today. By dwelling on what did or could have happened or on the should-haves or could-haves, you might miss your moment and all opportunities that the present holds you. Every day is a fresh chance to move on and write your story the way you want it. Instead of getting stuck on a replay of the past, take the lessons learned and use the here and now to create the next chapter for your future. Ask yourself these questions. What experiences from the past do you dwell on? How would you act and feel in the present without the weight of those emotions? 
It has an affirmation, but I'm going to put it in an ask formation. Show me why my power is in the present. And show me that every time a storyline for the past comes up, rec recite your, ma your mantra. Show, show you how your power is in the present. That's, that's it. Show you how your power is in the present. I'm going to write that down because with what has been going on, they got people all over the place. Sorry about the silence. Yeah. What you need to be focusing on feeding your creativity. Um, let it go. Let it go. You ain't got to deal with it. The who, what, when, where, and why. We don't have to worry about it. It's already happened, so at this point of the matter, all you can do is, it's a new day. It's a new day. You know, like any, like yesterday was a new day. Today's a new day. Tomorrow going to be a new day. And the day after that's going to be a new day. Let it go and take each day as it comes. That's all you can do. Do not, do not let those jokers get you fearful about what has happened. Remember, this is the year of karma. It ain't it, it ain't over yet. It ain't over. And there is an illusion being pushed right now. I have not turned on the TV. I have not turned on the radio. I can, the the phone kind of got me for a minute because everything pops up in the phone. So I kind of had an idea of what was going on. But I, you know, and I had a moment, a brief moment of apprehension. And then I said, well, whatever's going to be, que sera, sera, whatever will be, will be. My grandmother used to sing that song to me, and I remember singing that song as well. Whatever will be, will be. Let it go. And that's the energy I'm in right now. Now, I know I'm around a whole bunch of other folk. Their energy is not there. They've given their, their emotions are running, rampant. I can't be around that. I don't even know if I want to be around DM today because he, well, he ain't acting funny, so we'll see. But anyway, on the bottom is initiative. I don't know what that's about, you know, but our inner child talks to us in many different ways. And I'm going to pull a card from here. So we can kind of get another perspective. There it is right there. Or maybe uh, I'll pull them both because I wanted this one first. Oh, it's three. All right, we'll deal with it. Regardless, and to, they want you in anticipation. Don't be in this energy. That's the future. You need to be in right now. Right now. Not, not tomorrow. Not yesterday. Not next week. Right now. Competence. That's the first card. Equilibrium. Second card. Self-assurance, third card. These are all, they all have masculines on them. Um, this deck is called the Wisdom's Keeper Inner Guide book, just so you all know. Um, competence is 14, so that's like a balance, you know, balance. But let's see. Competence. 
Competence carries within it efficiency, enthusiasm, flair, and flexibility. The four keys to material success. So a lot of you are working on being competent, whereas your inner child may have been affected. And this gift that this card has is to encourage you to take an honest look at your life. It is time to put the fire back into your belly and to stop making compromises. The more you compromise, the more trapped you will become in a life that isn't even yours. You were born to inherit a rich, fulfilling, and harmonious life and to experience competence. I see you cutting through obstacles, loving what you do, becoming a mag magnetic original and adapting creati creatively to each new synchronistic opportunity that comes your way. Open to the bounty bounteousness that awaits. So a lot of you need to deal with, where are you compromising in your life? Where are you settling? Where are you leaking precious energy? Think of a time you have fire in your belly. What does competence mean to you? When have you felt the most competent in your life? Do you share the bounte bounteousness of your gifts with others? What dream is asking to be pulled out of the closet? Find a way to rekindle a dream and share your bounty today. A lot of you are doing that in your inner child. So one in the four is a five, so it's a change. But it's also um, temperance, balancing. Sagittarius energy. Now we got this equilibrium, which is a 50, which is a 5. It's another change. 5 and 0 is a change. What is this about? Equilibrium can be lost, but harmony is constant and infinite. Let me go back because I forgot to read something to you that you need to know. The gift is competence. When you're in your shadow, you're compromising. Your gift is bounteousness. And I want to see if I can see what that word is. This word, S-I-D-D-H-I, -D -D city, when we have captured a pure state of expansion and have completely surrendered our sense of separateness into the whole, we have entered the realm of city. Shadow is when we are worried about our survival and fear is in the driver's seat. We find ourselves in shadow territory. Our shadows can be expressed in repressive and reactive ways. The gift is when we are more oriented towards serving others and honoring ourselves than protecting and defending ourselves. We more naturally share our gifts with others and feel a sense of belonging in the world. I think I am going to keep this deck out just so um, we can use it with the inner child deck. But um, going on to the equilibrium. When you're, your gift is equilibrium, when you're in your shadow, you're in corruption. Your city is harmony. So you're trying to become harm, harmonized blending you're blending yourself and you're being competent in doing so the gift is bringing you a, a vision of a new world where peace harmony and collaboration prevail and you i see a potential for inner peace and a gift for bringing equilibrium and balance to any group of which you are a part to ignite these gifts you must first be willing to put all of your hidden agendas on the table. Own and take responsibility for your ulterior motives and your self-trust will grow. With self-trust, you can create the safe space necessary for others to face and embrace their own shadows. This is how to co-create a truly peaceful world. There is a self-organizing intelligence that naturally arises when people are empowered to be who they are and are encouraged to cont contribute passionately to the ever-evolving whole. 
Remember to be playful. What's the point of a new world if we can enjoy it? This is so important. So questions. Are you stuck working in or against the system? Is your social responsibility getting in the way of your creativity? Have you ever been blind, blinded by power or involved in corruption? Think of a time when you felt especially creative, playful, or free. Where were you? What were you doing? Who were you with? What can you do to connect with an experience of harmony? Next one, self-assurance. It's a two, it's a balance, and it's also um, high priestess energy. When you're in self-assurance, that's your gift and your shadow, your superficiality, and your city is presence so you're 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 this this all goes together let's see what the gift is they're bringing you great relief your mind may be busy telling you what to do that's okay but for the moment i invite you to smile tenderly at your sweet worried mind and know that everything is going to be all right right now there is nothing to do Nothing to make happen. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to regret. Not in this moment. Just take a deep breath and know that your life is in the hands of something far greater than you can ever imagine. Even if you can't feel at one with this moment, you are absolutely here right now. I promise you. Rejoice in the wonder of presence and genuine self-assurance will be your reward. You need to be self-assured that you're competent. You are competent and you're balanced. If you notice in each card, there's a th some kind of activation on the third eye. I don't know how to, um, let me see. Sorry, my arm's in the way. Let's see if I can see this better. It kind of makes it better. I don't know. But each one has a different pattern on their third eye. And even though they're showing masculine images, you could be a feminine in this energy. Now these questions for self-assurance self is, do you feel absent from your life? Like you're going through the motions, but you're not really there? Does it feel impossible for you to slow down? Are you afraid of what might happen or what you might feel if you dropped all of that hectic activity? In what situations and with whom do you find it easy to be present? Which are more challenging? Spend a few minutes in front of a mirror. Look in your eyes. Is anyone home? See if you can become even more present. Can you find a way to relax? Notice the thoughts and feelings that arise as you look into your eyes. Write what you learn from this experience in your journal. This is interesting because I've mentioned it before, but I, there were years, years when I couldn't look in the mirror. I mean, I put my makeup on and all, you know, get with it, brush my teeth and wash my face and whatever. But I never looked at myself in the mirror. I had been beaten down to the point where I couldn't even look at who I was. And I didn't know who I was. And that's because people attacked at certain, certain areas of your life, making you feel incompetent, making you feel unbalanced, making you feel that you, you are not, you're not self-assured. They do it on purpose to block you. They block you from things, from these things, because once you understand it, you can anticipate more things coming into your life. And a lot of you will be inventing things. And people wanted to restrain you from it. It's deep what they do. 
I'll shuffle two more times and then I'll cut the deck. But you need to let all of that go and know who you are. So that you can feed into your creativity. I'm going to pull three cards. Eight of Crystals. Eight of Pentacles. Work. It's a constant cycle. You're constantly working on yourself. But when you're in the shadow aspect of who you are. You're not putting the energy to yourself. You're giving it elsewhere is flowing elsewhere somebody else is tapping into your energy of who you of what you create but once you go into your city your your gift will come come to you you don't have to fight but you have to be in the now you have to let the, let everything go and focus only on what's going on right now but What's funny is that we were all taught, what do you want to be when you grow up? Some of you might, you know, some of us might didn't know we were going to be here when we grow up, when we were kids. You hate to say that, but it's the reality. Some of us had no idea, and that's what they would do. They Once they realized they could manipulate you, oh, you should do this, you should do this, you should do this. They're telling you what they want you to do so they can block you from being who you really want to be. I'm understanding that now because it was done to me. But anyway, let's keep going. Can I have one card right now? Or is it two that popped out? Oh, all three popped out. I'll take them. On the bottom is six of hearts. Somebody's receiving help. One, two, three, four, five. There's help coming. Oh, we got lovers. Hansel and Gretel. We got... Guide of Wands, the Pied Piper, and then we have the Child of Swords, Pinocchio. That's Pinocchio because his nose is long. So there's, looking at that, Hansel and Gretel, that's major. This is a major revelation. What you need to know about this, um, it's the lover's card, but it's a decision. Being competent, I'll just go straight to it. It's about you balancing your masculine and feminine energies. Because they're asking, have you found a balance within regarding the male and female aspect of myself? Do I take the time to distinguish between idolized love and romantic fantasy and a mature and masterful understanding of love? What can I do to master my relationships and bring harmony into them? Because somebody, want, you know, they affected your ability to be, you know, of you knowing you're competent. I'll read this. Traditionally, the lover's card is a card of decision and responsibility. As Trump number six, it numero numerologically stands for loyal devotion to higher principles. One has a choice to follow the well-worn path of desire or stay steady on the path of royal love where one is not deceived by the enchanting lure of idolized love. The lover's card suggests we look closely at the opposing forces in our own hearts and with intelligent foresight 
and honesty, and honesty distinguish which path will truly lead to unconditional love. This card denotes a balance between the masculine and the feminine, and in many cases indicates a time in one's life when these two divine principles must marry. This process will be called the alchemical, alchemical marriage, and this is symbolized by the royal marriage in a fairy tale, when the initiate has merged with both aspects of the divine self. And the um, Hansel and Gretel, the prince meets her princess meets her prince. The feminine has fully merged with the masculine, and thus love will and will thus love and will unite. So there you're, 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 you're learning how to be competent, yearning for harmony, yearning for the relationship with yourself and others. And not only that, you're yearning for your high, higher destiny. So a lot of you were destined for something of higher, um, vibration and the people you were around didn't like that six this is all from the past so something something happened I'll go back I'll go to it just to tell you that this six of cups I mean hearts Oh, they are refreshing themselves. Okay, let me let me tell you. I'll read it. The mermaids in the Six of Cups are assisting each other as they emerge fully refreshed and renewed from the depths of the waters or unconscious. As they rise up, they greet the magnificent sun that warms the soul after a period of inner searching and emotional turmoil. The stork represents the potential for rebirth and fertility in the area of love and emotion. Look at that. And look at this card that popped up. Hansel and Gretel. Merging your masculine and feminine energies. Mer could be merging with the divine ma uh, masculine. And it's asking you to letting you know you're competent. You're able to do that. Now, for the Guide of Wands, it's interesting that we have wands and we have swords. And you need those two energies to begin your transformation, to begin your, um, your ability to move forward and to, to uh, manifest and creating. Guide of Wands. Oh, let me back. The Guide of Wands is the Pied Piper. And let me see. I don't want to read that. Yeah. The Guide of Wand, Matt. The, ma the guide of magic wands is represented by the Pied Piper. This guy has an active and masculine archetypal quality for he has accessed his will and come to the rescue of the town of Hamlin that has been infested with rats. With a creative heart intent on restoring the beauty and high energy of this lovely town, the Pied Piper is hired to pipe the rats out of the town by luring them away with the gentle music he plays. When the town officials refuse to pay him for his service, they symbolize the imbalance we have in our world regarding material and spiritual values. As punishment for their greed, the Pied Piper pipes the children into the mountain into an unknown reality. So a lot of you have not been paid for what you were given.
And because you are in your power, you can do some stuff. But you are very creative and you're balancing this energy of not receiving your just due. I'm going to leave it at that because it could go a little further in. But you're balancing out your fire energy. And this is masculine. I see all these masculines other than this first card. And the, you're balancing yourself out. The feminine is uh, rebalancing becoming conscious after being unconscious and by doing that the masculine energy is catching up now we're going to swords energy now and it's the child child of swords and it's the page it's the beginning the page is is the, the page is the one who has all the gifts from the ace of swords ace through ten of swords so this this energy has the ability to go through all of the steps again. They've mastered them. So because they've mastered the, the aces, the ace through ten of swords, they should be able to mentally be self-assured. Let's read it. The page, the page of swords becomes the child of swords. This card is represented by Pinocchio, a wooden puppet who goes through the initiations of life in order that he may become flesh and blood like his maker, Geppetto. He yearns to incarnate and walk the path of truth. Geppetto is a symbolic is symbolic of our maker or our high self who holds the hologram of consciousness that we strive to attain. Children love Pinocchio because he is so much like them. All human beings make big mistakes as they struggle to fulfill great dreams. Pinocchio's lessons are ones that we must all experience. They point us toward the true meaning of truth and honesty. The child of swords is ready to engage in the beginning stages of maturation. Somebody's learning how to do, you're learning, you're becoming self-assured in your truth of who you are. The ultimate test lies in the ability to discern and prune away the habitual behaviors of the past. You're staying in the now now. You don't have to worry about the past. With the child of swords as an archetypal guide, there is room for improvement and growth. A generous gift still available at this stage of initiation. Now the question you're being asked is, this is a wonderful time to forge plans, look ahead, and begin to see a future opportunity that is available to you. You don't want to block your foresight and vision. Do you create excuses for yourself, enabling you to continue pursuing a path that is not for your highest good? What rationale do you seem to go back to again and again? And what new interests lie before me? So... A lot of you are, are, you're becoming more conscious. You're letting a lot go. You're letting a lot of these things that hindered you, you, you're letting them go. Which is really good because now that you're letting them go, you can actually become self-assured. You can actually know you're competent. You can actually... Um, Balance out your equilibrium because a lot of that has been tampered with, and it's still being tampered with. As when you're not healed, it can still tamper with you. Like I said earlier, when I when I woke up and I kind of realized what was going on out out there, I had to rein myself in for a second because I did feel a a slight a slight agitation. And then I was like, that ain't real. It's just an illusion. Everything here is just an illusion until you... It's an illusion and you can change the illusion. And the powers that be don't want you to do that. They don't want you to feel confidence. They don't want you balanced. And they don't want you self-assured. They want you fear-based. What are we going to do? Blah, 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 blah. Because I'm not going to talk about it. It is what it is. Okay, Sarah, Sarah, whatever it be, would be. 
But once you understand that, you'll understand that you're going to be all right. You will be fine. As long as you don't fall for the, the games, the manipulations. Uh, and it's going to come in many forms. It's going to come. A lot of people are, is, is, is right now, I have not walked outside. I don't want to walk outside because it's going to be a lot of people talking about what's going on out there. And I really don't care. Six of presents. It's a gift. It's ability to get. I'm using the nightmare before Christmas. And I'm going to actually look at their. I'm going to look and see what their definitions are for these cards. What does this say? Upright, tis the season for gift giving. Share your treasures with others and let your loved ones know how much you appreciate them. It's time to give others the credit they deserve for helping you get where you are today. Generosity will bring you even more success. So they want you to give to others. You're going to have it. You're going to be able to do it. Three of potions. I'm going to pull out six cards and then we'll go from there. The fool is on the bottom. So there is a new start coming. I haven't given up on this deck even though I, they come out weird. Six of potions, six of cups. Same energy right here. Ace of Candles. It's a new passionate beginning. Death. Some type of ending. Four presents. Four pentacles. Three of candles, nine of needles. So do I have cups? No wines. But death is a wine. It's an action. Queen of needles is on the bottom. So queen, you're getting clear about something. That's queen of swords energy. I'm going to use a I'm going to use I got this deck right here. I'm going to use this deck. To clarify them, but I just want to get them warmed up a little bit. I'm hoping you all are not living in fear. Um, I'm hoping you're not um, Letting what's going on out there, whether you're watching your TV, listening to your radio, listening to your family and friends, you have to go within. You have to go within and censor yourself. Because the minute you listen to other people, you, you've given your power away. And that's why I, that's why I have not turned on the TV. That TV is a portal, and you, it makes you, once you turn it on, it's like you go into it. Just like the phone is, the phone's a portal too, but it's, I don't know how to explain it, but it's, it is a portal. Let's, let's, um, get, we got potions, potions, oh, we got cups, cups, major arcana. Pentacles, wands, needles. So we got cups, presents, can't. Oh, we have all, all four. Okay, good. And we
And what I'll say about it is potions. So we got three. Se actually, we got seven cups out here. So there could be some confusion about something. And then we have four of pentacles where there's a holding back. Somebody wants to eat what you yours. Eat what you have coming forward to you. Because you're ending a cycle. There is... Here it is right here. There's this confusion with these three people. It's ending. It was in, they're, they're trying to eat, take something of yours that they know you have coming. But you're releasing that. We'll keep it going though. Let's keep going. That's, that's, that's what I have. That's what I'm getting. Let's go into this. I'm sorry for all the um, quietness. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Sometimes you need that quietness. Okay. I'll show you the card. Now is a great time to get together with supporters, fun people, and enjoy yourself. Live it up a little. Any collaborations you find yourself in are supercharged now. So get ready for unexpected breakthroughs. Host a brainstorming session and let creativity, creative energy, and inspiration flow freely. But there is a decision to be made. But remember, you don't have to accept everything you're offered. Listen to your intuition and don't be afraid to decline opportunities that don't feel right. Make sure you know what you're signing up for by carefully reading the fine print, especially when faced with offers that seem too good to be true. This is the one that's too good to be true. It's confusing, so you're ending it. You're ending it. You're going through a powerful transition. Whatever sort of big change is happening in your life right now, embrace it. Because it will eventually lead to bigger and better things. So you're trying you're ending a trend, you're ending stuff and you're transforming. The four of presence represents happiness and stability at home, at work, and within your budget. You're on track and setting yourself up for success by building your plans on solid ground. Say thanks with thoughtful gifts to those who've helped you get here. This deck is, okay, I guess, see, I think of the four of pentacles, and I'm thinking of them like they, somebody trying to hold on to you. But the four of pentacles can be a card of you of stability. So whatever this change is, you're gonna you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be fine. I'm glad that this is show. I'm glad I pulled the book out. I don't. I normally don't use the book for this deck. When I see these little rats, though, I it just make me feel some kind of way. Cause um, let me see. He got a gift. Yeah, see, this one has a gift, but the other ones are coming to get the gift. I don't know. I ain't feeling them rats, but okay. So, three of candles. Now isn't the time to try to do things all by yourself. 
The Three of Candles indicates success will come through cooperation and collaboration. You have a great opportunity in front of you. Make the most of it by putting a little trust in others and being open to their ideas. So you're, I mean, these cards are all positive right now. They're all positive. You, you're sharing gifts. You got things coming to you. People want you to celebrate, but you need to be careful with your celebrating so that it's not an illusion. And then we have the nine of needles. I think I may use this book with this with this deck from now on. Nightmares, worries, fear. Night of Needles shows up when you're feeling dread. Muster your courage and face your fears. You might just find the clown with the tear away face is not as scary in the light of day. So You're being careful. They're saying it's nothing to be, you know, to be concerned with. But I look at it because it's under the death card that you're ending something that was bad. That was not good for you. Mother of Coins. This is the energy of Queen of Pentacles. And we got the Queen of Needles, Queen of Swords there. So this is your energy right now. You're looking at grounding yourself so that you can um, create things. Somebody out there screaming. Okay. What is this celebration? It's hidden. There's something hiding here. It has to do with your will of fortune, with your birthright. Why is this um, here? Look at that. They're telling you to get grounded. Emotionally grounded. You need to get grounded. Get grounded or you can be stuck. If you, if you celebrate with the wrong group of people, you need to get grounded because I told you I didn't like these little rats. There's something about these rats I don't like. Anything else I need to know about that? Look at that. Yep. Get grounded because this could this could be where they're trying to um, celebrate and put you here. Because you're the empress. I knew it. I oh I you know after after dealing with yesterday was which was a minor a minor I didn't well actually I didn't do it I voted early I voted earlier in the week and once I turned in my ballot I was like I should have ripped that thing up that's that that was how I felt after I dropped my ballot off I said I should have I shouldn't have did it but it'd be the last time I do it so all I got to say about that um they know that you are the empress. They know. And you know. Um, what is this? Four, four cups. Four potions. You're being told to be careful. Yep. Because I, I knew it. There is this burden. Be careful because if you do this, they could be putting a burden on you. And it's a belief system. You're going to be burdened by a belief system. That's by a witch doctor that knows that you are a star seed. They know you are a star. 
and they know that your birth they know what you they know what your birthright is most people that do stuff try to take your energy they know who you are This witch doctor knows you are the star seed and they're trying to burden you with these belief systems. Bury you far enough so that you don't believe that you have any hope. You won't be able to balance yourself out. You won't be competent. Anything else about that? Yep. Can't make it up. I'm not even looking at this card. They've been doing this to you since you were a child. Here's That's another six. Six, six, six. Look it up. A lot of you are balancing yourself out, and that's what that 14 is. You're balancing yourself out so that you can become competent in who you are. What is this death? I don't know if you're ending something with a um, boss. I'm hesitating. It could be your significant other who is the um, emperor. This is the emperor card. Or you could be transforming into the emperor. There is some truth about whatever is going on. And this is her again. The sun, you, something's going to be revealed. And here it is, that hierophant. Look at that. It's a belief system or some type of powers that be. I'm not trying to get, get into that. Here we go. The sun is... is didn't the sun just come out? Look at that. I, they playing today. Um... Something's going to be revealed. And it's about three people. And that's the death card right there. And that is the justice card that tried to fall out. There's something's coming out. What, what else? They were trying to block you from this energy. They're trying to block your spiritual eyes. This is the truth. They don't want you to see what has been done. They don't want you to know that you're, you're abundant already. That's your energy. This is your energy and they've been using you as a battery. And pretty much what they did yesterday or today, or like for me last week, I mean, earlier in the week. They used us as a battery. For some energy. They are trying to move that energy some kind of way. And then now we have what we have today. Which I really don't really know the full gist of it. But they know that we, we are the ones. We're the ones carrying the weight of the world. Put it that way. All right. Can I have a card for the Four of Presents? It's the Queen of Wands. And this is you. This is you knowing that you have these gifts that you can give away. And now you can make other plans. What else? But there is this energy of heartbreak around here. Because the cycle's ending. I mean, why? You're fighting. Because there is an energy here that's trying to take from you. They're trying to make you think that you're abundant. Like they're trying to take from you. They're trying to take from you. 
they're trying to take from you. This is the truth. They're trying to take from you. Because they know you have something coming your way. They want to fight you for this. This popped out quick. They don't want you, they don't want you getting this. They want to sabotage you, poison you, steal from you, lie to you. They want to take your spot. They don't want you having this. There are people watching. It fell out and it's in my lap. You're getting balanced. With a soulmate. Or with something that you really like doing. They thought they took it from you. I'm going to take this. I know what this card is. Is it more than one? Nope. It is. See this card. And see this kid. This kid and this kid. Since you were a kid, you've been around snakes. And this is this is your feminine energy. They've been taken from you emotionally. Emotionally, they've been take they've been taken from you. I'll take one more and then we'll move, keep it moving. One more card for this. What else they need to know? Look at that. They won't stop you from being the um, empress. They've been trying to block you from being the empress. And you are aware of this now mentally. There's been a lot of work done. Because they knew something was coming. I want to clarify. Why is this um, empress in reverse? They know something's coming. They're trying to block it. They're trying to block you from healing. Because they know it will cause a tower moment. Anything else before I move on? They know this is your energy right now. And this is pre-Empress energy. There's something here. I'm not going to pull it out. It's the same. Three, um, three of Wands. They want something to end. They're in this energy of not um, worry. They're, they're worried because your wheel of fortune is still here. You still have access to it. You still have access to it because as the daughter of, um, of um, Pentacles, uh, it's been yours for a while. And they know that you're going to walk towards it. Anything else about this? It's the truth. What, that just popped out. They are in their heads because this is going to, it's going to cause a very bad ending for them to end. Not only that, the cycle will be ending for them. Ending for them. Yeah, you're walk you're you're ending a cycle. Oh wow. You're ending a cycle. And you're gonna by walking by ending a cycle, you'll be able to walk away. You'll be able to be more responsible, learn about things, and you'll get out of this mental imprisonment. Imprisonment. You'll be in control of your emotions. You'll be able to go towards your passions. And because of that, you will be able to get your pentacle. The devil has been blocking you emotionally. Because you need to have the emotions before it can come down to the earthly plane. But you're getting messages that will give you justice. But I'm going to leave it here. Um, but yeah. It's a lot going on right now, today.
just make sure I'm going to call this let it go whatever whatever is going on you need to let it go because the universe wants you to be in the present don't worry about what else is going on as long as you're focusing on other things you're giving your power away to other people other people places and things I called off from the other job today. I was like, I ain't going today. This was my focus on me, on this. All right. You all take care. Thank you for stopping by Healing Inner Child Wound Conversations with Z. I'll be back. Peace.